What's going on, people? Fam and the here from TICGN.com. And welcome to episode 25 of the Double XP Podcast. As you guys know, this is our debate show where we go at it, but it's all fun. It's all love. So if you get, get a little butt hurt, please, we are we are sorry, but nothing we can do about it because you are sensitive. We're going to talk about the introduction with my light-skinned brother from somebody else's mother, Mr. Nicodemus X. Yo, what is good? Uh, YouTube, what's going on out there? Uh, yeah, so, yeah, leaving the butthurt behind. I'm, I'm 100% behind that, so please, please leave that butthurt off this podcast, please. Um, also, I'm a little I'm a little upset. I'm a little butthurt myself uh, because the near DLC is freaking $14. I'm very upset about that because I love Nier, I love my games, but I love my money more. And so I'm I'm a little I'm a little butthurt about that right now. But we'll talk about that later. Everybody, everybody know what the hell Nier is. I'm just playing. Oh wow. Don't be mad. <laughs> Where's the dislike button on this damn video? <laughs> hey man, we got four dislikes already, so you know. Oh, so, I want to contribute. I want to contribute. I want to contribute to the hate. <laughs> Next up, we got my right hand one man who I will go up to bat for regardless of who you are or where you from. Mama Cedar. All right. Hey, everybody. Um, well, my butt not hurting tonight, so um, I'm not butt hurt. So, oops. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what What is going on here? Well, I'm just saying, everybody talking about their butt hurt, my, my, my butt not hurting. Oh. So, I'm good. Oh, okay. Oh, that's all. Hey. Yeah, that's all I was saying. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Interesting, Mama C. That some somehow, some way. Every episode. Oh, every every damn episode. episode. I here got got one track minds and. Well, why can't I say every time I say but if I say but there is at least one sexual nothing. reference once an episode. I promise you. <laughs> you know what the hell you doing? Don't Didn't even act like say that. That y'all butts was hurting. Oh, y'all are butt hurt. So I said my butt not hurt tonight. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Mama C. I'm good. I'm trying. Well, I'll promise to keep it classy. <laughs> yeah, she's barely okay. keeping it assy. Uh huh. <laughs> Ashy. That's what she's keeping. Oh, oh I, no. I promise to keep it classy, and I uh, appreciate y'all checking out Double XP tonight. And um, it's all good. And I'm gonna go ahead and pass it over to Trump. Yeah, pass Yo, it over. Crunk girl, girl. You're running out. <laughs> Oh, oh boy. Come on, girl. What's happening? What's happening, man? Mama see running out over here. <laughs> what on? What's happening, everybody? How y'all doing? I'm early today. Ain't Whoa. Just oh, early today. Uh, I'm on it today, though. I, I, I got off Persona. I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to mess with it. I'm going to come on in and be, be early, be fresh. Like, I got a brand new job. But what's happening, people? How y'all doing tonight? All right, girl. We and good. we do have a oh, guest in the yeah. building. So make sure y'all make sure y'all act right in front of company. Uh, we got company. Uh-huh. <laughs> Game of Lives Matter. What's up, brother? How y'all doing? How y'all doing in joystick junkie world? Game of Lives <laughs> Matter, man. How y'all doing? All right. He Wait. sound like BFG for a second. I thought about oh, going, with, going to the BFG <laughs> brand. He, he need to work on that intro though, if he want to be like BFG. Just saying. All right. I ain't got no intro yet. I'm still I'm still on the crumb side, man. I'm I'm just <laughs> just happy to be in here, man. The crummiest of the crummiest dudes on this side got an intro, fam. That's not an excuse. Well, I'm I'm on toaster leavings right now. I'm, I've so. seen some <laughs> bummy ass dudes with intros. You not a bum. Yeah. So you gonna have to come with that. No, nah, I'm definitely not a bum. I you make no over a hundred grand. Mm. Let's go. <laughs> All right. And so before we get into the topics, I want to uh, acknowledge a comment in the chat from Chris Cobra it says, uh, "Mama Cedar, low key a freak, bro. That's high key. <laughs> this ain't, that ain't low key. That's that's high key. You know what? <laughs> go ahead. Miss Two V One herself. You know what? See, <laughs> see, I can't say stuff. I say stuff that everybody else say, and it gotta mean something. See. I don't get it. I don't get it. Now, see, normally we will go into the thing. We'll start to figure out what everybody's playing. But actually, we're going to skip that tonight because the topics we got, they're going to take some time. So we're going to start off with the rumor that's been going around about a PlayStation 5. Not for, not for Pro, a PlayStation 5 may be releasing uh, mid to late 2018. Now, me, myself, I think this is a complete asinine statement, number one. I don't think it's true. And if it is true, it'll be an idiotic move on Sony part to oversaturate the market with PlayStation when the PlayStation 4 is still at its peak of console 
selling power. What do you guys think about the PlayStation 5 release date possibly being 2018, late 2018? And do you guys buy into it? If And if not, give me a date or when you think it's plausible. Let me go um, first because um, I talked about this. I'm going to be quick because um, I had like a million people watching the podcast last night. So everybody heard it already. Um, but I basically going to say that I don't think it's true. But I will say this, the analyst that did predict or whatever, he was right about the pro and the slim. So um, he, he's an analyst that does have a little weight behind him. He doesn't just spit misinformation. So, But I think he's off on this one because, I, like you said, I really don't think Sony is going to um, saturate their own market like this. Because, I mean, the PlayStation 4 is still doing very, very well. Like, there's no signs of it slowing down um, to that degree. And I think they would just confuse you know, the gamers in general by releasing a next gen, quote unquote, next gen console in the PS5 already. I could see it um, coming out possibly end of 2019, 2020 at the, 2019 at the earliest, 2020 at the latest. That's what I'm going to say, that the PS5 is going to come. But definitely, definitely not 2018. That would be a, a, a suicide move on Sony's uh, part, in my opinion. Why do you think the rumors are circulating? Do you think it's a, it's a Scorpio effect? I, the rumors, what do you mean by circulating? Like where, what, what's making people like get behind this rumor? Yeah. I, I think, yeah, I think it's two things. I think it's because of the guy who, who stated it because he does have a good track record. Um, and then also, uh, yeah, I think the Scorpio effect does have a, a part to play in it as well. Um, so I think it's dual, a dual, dual sword there. Okay, okay. Shout out to the non dislikes. I don't know what I did to y'all, but okay. Mama Cedar, what do you do? <laughs> I love Xbox. Oh, no. I just think that uh, I think people, you know, we are in this. I want to one up the next one generation. Whatever you can do, I can do better kind of thing. So, uh, you know, honestly, though, I can remember. Maybe a year, year and a half ago, there was something floating around about Sony releasing, you know, the PS5 or whatever. Um, so I've kind of heard these rumors uh, before, actually, when I think when, right, either before Scorpio was released or when it was released, those things were kind of floating around. So I'm not surprised about, you know, the rumors. I Do I think it's a Scorpio effect? Yes, I, I do think it is. I think it's going to always be that from this point going forward, whichever one up up you know does something releases a system better than the next and the next one here we go now we're going to one up you and it's just going to be like that but why would sony do that i mean why would they release a next generation console in 2018 at this point in the generation i i, I don't know i mean you if if the if the point of it is for graphical purposes and resolution and frame rates and all that catching up with technology and all that. If that's the purpose, okay. But if it's just to say I've got the bigger, better console on the market, that makes no sense because even when Scorpio does release, you're still going to you're still going to have uh the most sold console. You you always going to be able to say we have the, you know, every, you know, there are more PS4s out there, so I don't know. I I just think that's just I just think that's more wishful thinking. Yeah, and don't be mistaken, be um, PS5 is in development, it's in the works and stuff, but like, I don't think Sony's concerned about, you know, the, the quote unquote power or whatever like that, um, because that's not really what's selling, you know, their consoles and stuff like that. I think Sony message has been clear from the beginning, you know, they're really focused on the games, bringing out, you know, the games that they want, that they get, that their gamers want. So, you know, this this power play, whatever, I think it's really in the hands of like the fanboys and stuff like that. Well, that was Sony's message in the beginning. Let's not forget that they did say, you know, the better games are going to look better, the better system. They played the 1080 car in the and they did. No, I'm, do talking that. About, I, I'm talking about right now. Yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah. That, but let's that, not let's not act right like they didn't play the power court. Yeah, play, it, because they did. Yeah, yeah, they did. But I'm okay. talking about, I'm talking about right now. I'm yeah. talking about, like right that, that's not what they're concerned about right now. Like like they don't, they're in a position to where they don't have to worry about that. Like the power play in the beginning and stuff was because it was like direct like competition, like close competition. Like they had to separate themselves from the competition. It was very smart play. But oh, but now, like within the last two years or something, 
they don't they have not needed to even go there like it's is they, their whole strategy has changed their whole marketing strategy has changed if you look at it so like i'm saying they they don't need to do that they're not even concerned with that so you know them bringing out a ps5 you know in 2018 you know what makes sense in i don't think it's any like direct like response to scorpio or anything like that i think that's just you know in the hands of the fanboys and stuff. Well, that's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about Sony releasing because of Scorpio effect. I'm saying that's wishful thinking on, on you know, uh, people's part. They're just saying that, you know, uh, these gotcha. rumors. I, I don't think Sony or Microsoft uh, are pretty much, you know, care about what fanboys say. Okay. Yeah. Oh, girl. Why y'all um, quiet? What's up with the dance yeah. thing? Oh, no. Nah, oh, no. Nah, letting everybody get their thoughts out. Yeah, um, and I'm learning. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just, um, um, I don't think this is true, but like Nick said, the, the guy who said it, he's, you know what I'm saying, got some clout behind him. So you have to keep it in the, you have to keep it in the back of your mind that with a grain of salt it may be true, but I don't think it's true. Um, even though PS5 is in development, like every other system is, it's probably uh, everybody's working on their next their next systems. Yeah, so the, ne the next the Xbox is already in, in a planning mm -hmm. stage. Yeah, so as soon as they put yeah. one out, they're they working on the next one. Um, so they um, I I, be I believe that it's coming, but 2018, I don't know, because Sony got a whole lot of freaking games that haven't came out yet, so. I don't think they're going to rush a lot of those games out just because. So I'm thinking 20, late 2019, 20, 2020, maybe. I think that's a good time to bring out another console. Um, even though I will say that, um, you know, most cycles are like, what, five years? Most most generations five, usually five, five to seven, right? The last, last year went, what, seven, eight years? No, no. Last year went almost eight nine oh, yeah. years that's the longest gen we've ever had yeah. no other gen has been that long like all the rest of the gens they go like four or five years and then we, they moving on to the next one. yeah so that won't necessarily be so you know like out of the norm then if they if they no it's not out of the norm yeah it's not out of the norm but i i think tw that's why i say 2019 2020 I, I think 2018 a little too because I mean, if the if, if the PS4 Pro was a mid-gen refresh, I mean, how can it be a mid-gen refresh if it's the last? If you've got to create a new gen a year after it's released? Yeah. Well, I, I mean, a lot of people think, think that Scorpio isn't a mid-gen refresh. They think it's a brand new console. Yeah, but they silly. It's it's it's, a, it's definitely a mid-gen refresh. Yeah. It's a souped-up Xbox. That's all it is. Yeah, it's the Xbox that should have been released in in twenty twenty. Yep. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That I waited waited in line at Best Buy for and, and still <laughs> took an exactly L. What it is? So you still took an L. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know it's the same thing. I feel like the PlayStation Pro. I said I I told people that when I heard about it, I was like, I the we the Wii U just rushed everybody, and everybody, you know what I'm saying, rushed their shit out because of the Wii U. I think the Xbox One mm -hmm. S should have been the original system, Mama, not the Scorpio. I think the One S, it's not a bad console. The Xbox, I'm, I'm not, the Xbox in general is not a bad console. I think this, the Fat Boy, you know, with the Connect and all that stuff, was just a horrible move. I think the the One S should have been the console from the very beginning. It's slim, it's sleek, you know, it, it's not, it's not, you know, connected. It's not. Uh, yeah, but it still connect. doesn't have the the power that oh, 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 that's what I'm referring to. But, but they could have been they could have been pushing this whole up, upscale 4K thing for a long time and HDR. Mm -hmm. But uh, Gamer Lies, what you think, brother? What I think about it, I think it's all false. I don't think that PlayStation coming out no time soon, man. I think 2020 will probably be the time that it comes out. But I don't think they're gonna like kill their pro and kill their uh PS4 Slim like that. They it already got pro. yeah, they already got sixty million units out there, man. They doing good. Mm -hmm. I mean, why 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 would you uh stop the you know stop the flow? You know what I'm saying? If you got something good going, there's no need to cut it off. You see how I long mean, it took them to kill the PS2? It took them yeah. Ooh. Yeah, about what, a decade? A decade, yeah, it took a decade. <laughs> so why why do you think they're gonna kill the four like that? I yeah. think I think with the four, I think they're trying to hit numbers that you know that they never reached before. I think they're trying to make it up to at least ninety to a hundred million. 
and then bring out the five. Mm -hmm. I don't care what the Xbox Scorpio do. You know what I'm saying? They're supposed to do that too because they're right on pace with the PS2. If yeah. y'all if y'all listen to one our last show, we had Porter Rock on. Porter Rock did a video a lot of times long ago, and he and he hit he hit the nail on the head for the people who are actually hitting up Sony saying, please give us a PS5 and all this stuff. Those are the people who have been fanboying this whole time about power, and now they don't they don't want to get that shit thrown back in their face. And he made yeah. it. I think I think that's a beautiful yeah. point. The people who are actually asking for this are the ones who have been fanboying this whole time, screaming about how 720p, Xbox 720. We got the power, power this, power that, and now the turn the table about to turn, and you don't yeah. want that thrown back in your face. I think he made a perfect point for the people who are actually asking for this, because I don't think no one else is asking for this. People gotta realize the whole point of doing the console quote unquote refresh and stuff was to make ensure that this quote unquote generation lasts as long as it possibly can. So you're not gonna cut the generation off at five years. Like they want this thing eight to ten years. You know what I'm saying? So and also yeah. I think I think our definition or idea of next generation is changing. Like I think like the next generation of PS4, I mean PlayStation and Xbox are gonna be basically souped up. Um you know, gaming stations, if they're even gaming stations, you know what I'm saying? So I, I think we all got to just keep in mind that the landscape is changing and our idea next gen ain't going to be what we're used to anymore. It, it's changing drastically. So even this whole um, normal cycle that we have, you know, it's five to six years or whatever. It, all that's changing now, man. Um, uh, I think a lot I mean, of us going to be very surprised what these quote unquote next gen systems are going to be. Be happy they in competition like this because it's just good for the gamers. That's why I'm happy. I, I like that they're going back and forth like that. Yo, uh, I am too, man. Well, yeah, let's face good. it. Well, let's let's well, let's let's just face it. Um, Sony's not going back and forth with anybody. Um, if they're going back and forth with anybody, it's Nintendo got no, them. See, that's what I, no, see, that's where no, see, that's where your fanboy gets. Kicking. That's where the fanboy is. Oh, mm. You think if you think. It, I, these Listen, are my I, thoughts. I know it's a popular narrative. These to are think. my thoughts. Listen, hold on. I know it's a popular narrative to think, oh, Sony doesn't worry about Microsoft. The worst thing you can do is let Sony get comfortable and not worry about Microsoft. If you want your favorite company, Nick, PlayStation to succeed, they yeah. should worry about what any but, of the competition is. Did I say doing. did I say that's a want though? I didn't say it's a want. I'm just stating what my I'm, I'm observing. I'm not saying that's a want. I don't so, want that. Uh, you're, you're <laughs> just because I'm light skinned, just because I'm light skinned, I'm light -skinned <laughs> guys, doesn't mean you guys can just take what I say out of context. I didn't Your say Your observation I want that. is that they're not competing with any that's my of observation. the same. No, my observation is they, they are not competing close. Like they're not. There's not this back and forth. Like that's what that's what Gamer Live said. There's this back and forth. I said there's now, see, there's not a back very, and forth. You're being, you're being very close minded what? with the fact that the back. No and back forth, and forth is there. The back. The well, back and forth. It's going to be a generation. back and forth when the Scorpio drops. The back and drop. forth is the generation, sir. You what? telling me? You yeah. telling me? You telling me? The Xbox wasn't kicking ass last gen, and now it was switched back no, to PlayStation. I'm not talking from a generational basis. I'm talking about but like but right now. I'm not the big picture. You're, you're being very close minded. Well, I'm, the about, big I'm, the one, back and forth. I'm the one that brought this up. You, you're you're digging into my mind and trying to tell me what my mind's supposed to think. I'm saying that I'm not looking at it from a generational standpoint. I'm talking about right now. There is no back and forth right now between Xbox and PlayStation. So, okay, so it's all about right now. So if next gen. Microsoft kicks PlayStation ass. You gonna say no? Let's talk about no. Let's talk about the generation, last generation. So you want to always focus on the here and now. You're making up scenarios, sir. So you're, wait a minute. You're you're you're, about, you're so trying to cross the Twilight now. Zone right now, Fame. I'm talking about something totally different. On record, this is not. This is not about here and now. Everything cannot be a what if, Fame. Oh, okay, listen. Okay, I get that. <laughs> I what are you record. talking about? I need on record that you only care about the here and now. No, that's not what I'm saying. I do not care about the only here and now. I'm talking about in the context. Of, I'm talking, yourself, sir. No, no, I'm not. I'm talking about in the context of what Game of Lives just said. He said there's a back and forth. And I said right now there is no back and forth. I was commenting on what he said. So you just took everything totally out of context because I'm light skinned. I don't understand this. No, because you're wrong. <laughs> no, fool. No. I was commenting on what he said. There is no back and forth right now. That's how I feel. There's not. Yeah, but. Like like I said, we still need we still need Xbox to be up there, and you know what I'm saying. Put Sony no, Nick won't Xbox to the fire. No. Who said no, what? No, nope. I didn't say Nick, 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 Xbox. Nick did not say want. Nick did not say want at all. I didn't say none of that. Y'all need to stop putting hey, words in my mouth. <laughs> some of the moves that Microsoft is making right now, Sony better get on it. They coming. Yeah. And yeah. I, I, I think I think Sony, Sony, any good, any smart company, is never going to sit and rest 
on their loans, even if they are the, the, the market leader. And history has told us and has taught us that when you become, become complacent and you get comfortable in where you are and start viewing your competition as not being competition, they come up and they surpass you and they and, and, and they and they beat you and they yeah. get you. So I, People I that Sony get too comfortable. And and, 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 I, and I don't think that Sony is comfortable. I don't uh, is sitting comfortably saying I'm not worried about Microsoft. I, I, I no, there's no way that they're doing that because they know that this scenario could change ne next exactly. gen or, or even even and it's not it's not so far fetched to say that they couldn't, even if they never surpassed them, it's not like they couldn't catch them. We that know that happened. happened. Last gen. We know it happened yeah. right last gen. So, so that's and that's the, always possible. And Nintendo I, is a big example. <laughs> yeah, and I, I kept telling people that, like, as a person who's a Sony fan, I'm glad they got their ass kicked last generation because at the end of the generation, Sony learned a lot from their mistakes at the beginning. They learned that you can't be bull, bull driving around with with uh the cost of the console just bull driving the cost of the console you got four cooking and driving you, got, you sure you ain't from tennessee like, 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 girl, that was country I, mean, I, I didn't want to curse so i had to say we got a lot of stuff because PlayStation failed. i'm just putting it out there like because playstation failed as a sony fan we got a lot at the end of the yeah. generation well, I ain't gonna sit here and bull jive. I definitely don't want um, somebody <laughs> getting comfortable. Don't get me wrong, but I'm just saying that you know, as of right now, Microsoft just they need to come with it so that there can be more of a back and forth. That's I don't think I'm they're saying. gonna get comfortable. They they can't afford to. They gotta. Yeah. They, let's not let's not sleep on Nintendo though. Nintendo. No, you know, I'm not sleeping on Nintendo. Right now. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people that, are, that's my, that's my the one that's is, giving the like, pressure right now. A lot. My thing is with 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 Sony, as long as they keep up the pace like they are right now and they firing on all cylinders, they'll be mm -hmm. all right. But I never want them to get comfortable because we yeah. I know what happens when they get comfortable. <laughs> yeah, we all know what happens they when they know get too. comfortable. And you know what? And, and and to go with that, I love the fact that a company like Microsoft is, is getting is getting punched in the mouth because you know we know they got the money to go out and fix the problem. Yeah, mm -hmm. Sony. They exactly. say Sony. Oh, didn't yeah. have a pro they say Sony didn't have the money to fix the problem. I guess Microsoft, money wasn't the Microsoft issue. Microsoft got the money. Got the money to, to fix the problem. And and I, I I tell people all the time, a lot of stuff that's happening that with the Xbox One over the last couple of years, that's still Don Matrix. A lot of stuff going on with Phil, we're just not starting to see. Like all the new features with the Xbox One, that's all stuff Phil started with the Game Pass. Phil started that three years ago. The stuff we're starting to see now in in his third year, along with what we see at E3, that's all Phil. So I think I know. Don't take this the wrong way, but I feel as if this year starts a new, not necessarily a generation, but a new era for Microsoft because now we get to see the Phil Spencer era. Now we get to see the console that he wanted out. Now we get to see the features. He won out. Now we're gonna see the games that he won out. Now, now is really the time that I think as much Nick said, Nicodemus don't want to admit it. Sony needs to look like you know what Microsoft ain't playing because last generation we caught them at the end, and there's no telling what can come out, what can drop the game as a seat and like and go out and buy, and they can catch us like that. So yeah. I think I think this whole this whole thing of oh, ain't no competition, ain't no back and forth, all that. I think that that's just that that's just a you know. A bad way of looking at it, and, and if, if Sony looking at it that way, they fucking themselves. They are if they if they if they look at it that way, they're fucking stupid. They're stupid if they look at it that they way. Are. No, uh, I, they, I they're, they're too. They they're not. They aren't. They aren't. I don't I think, think they are either. Sorry. I don't think they are either. But what I'm saying is, there's there's not a back and forth right now. That's what I'm saying. Like. There is a back and forth. There's not. Some of the stuff like the game competition is always a back and forth. Yeah, it's always. That's not happening right now. It like, is. No, 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 Nick, I'm gonna say it like this: that gamer pass joint they they come out with. Is it a refund? Oh, look at it. That freaking it um, uh, what you call it, where you can turn your games in, your digital games in, and get is your money back. Yep. They, look, they better, they better get, they better get with the program because even yeah. though fr they not, um, they they haven't showed like the newer games and stuff like that. The other things that Xbox is working on in the background is what Sony need to be worried about too. One yeah. of the things that Phil Spencer said was that he wanted to get they were bleed they they have been bleeding their awesome their hardcores, 
and he wanted to get those gamers back. See, we forget that a lot of Xbox gamers left and went to PlayStation. See, you guys are acting like those 55 million PS4 consoles out there are all just PlayStation fanboys. No, a lot of them are people who don't give a damn about being a fanboy. They just wanted to play where the best games were. And yeah. I'm, and I'm, with, I'm, and, I'm, I'm, I fit that demographic know, so, first, so, first, so, first That's hand. what I'm saying. First so, hand, I fit that demographic. First hand, I was a huge Xbox 360 fanboy. Lies and I was of propaganda. The, you already know. <laughs> <laughs> I already know. I was a huge Xbox 360 <laughs> fanboy, and I crossed over this generation for the simple fact of what you just said, Ma. So I'm, mm -hmm. I fit that demographic first hand. Yep. People forget that, though. Yeah. Get that. Hey, no matter what Xbox show E3, Nick will be like, nah, because PlayStation got too many games, so I don't want to play it. Xbox <laughs> can drop 40 new exclusives at E3, Nick will say, nah, uh, PlayStation got games, so I, know, I ain't got uh, time. It ain't gonna be like that. It's gonna be just like it's just gonna be just like with Xbox 360 versus PS3. It's gonna be the same thing. I was hard on the Xbox 360 games, and when I started seeing those PS3 exclusives drop like that. I was like, I couldn't even deny it. I was like, first I was like, oh, it's trash. It sucks. I don't want to hear it. But I kept looking at them like, damn, damn, I got, I got to play these games. So like I said before, Microsoft starts delivering games like that. There's no way I'm going to be able to turn my eye to it. Like if, it, if they deliver stuff that's going to excite me, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, like this near is right now, boy. What the hell is near? It's the oh. girl behind. That's what it is. Oh, I, know, I know what it is. That's all. No, I know what it is. I'm just like, I'm like, I'm just like, no, no, getting up tight. Near, near is that life, and it's only forty dollars. It's forty dollars right now, y'all. I recommend it's too high. Everybody, what? When it's twenty, I'll get it. What? Yeah. Y'all need to stop that oh, flashing man. on this bro. podcast, bro. Yeah, no. Near is a good game. Don't I'm don't do that. I'm about to get by God right now. I get it when it's PlayStation Plus. Wow! Oh. <laughs> this man here. Look, I'm saying, bro, y'all missing out. How many? How many? <laughs> and you know, and you, and you know, they ain't gonna put that on no PlayStation Plus. You know that ain't going down. <laughs> you know that. What they put that, on their month. They I, I just like the, I just like the Russell Jimmy's. That's all. I actually, I'm actually interested in the game. I just. You know, I'm trying yeah, to. He know, he know how much of a fanboy I am about this near right now. Well, they but might until you realize that you are done, don't talk to me. Yeah, I know. It's they right. might. They I'm might. I'm looking at the case right now. Now, though, they might. We'll see. I don't think so. Oh, that's oh, not. I would a, hate to see this on PlayStation now, <laughs> running in 20 <laughs> frames per second. <laughs> I don't think it may, it may not. We don't know, man. But I, I don't think PlayStation now is terrible. I got, I got a great question for you, Nick. What That's a great question. For What's that? All right, let's say these games come out for the Scorpio, right? And they hot and popping, and they have the power behind it. So mm -hmm. you mean to tell me, are you going to cross back over if they get games like Near and stuff like no. that? No. Okay. No. So, so let me answer. Let me answer this. Let me answer this question. So I'll say this. Okay. So when I was um, out here in these streets getting money and women, uh, I wasn't really worried about <laughs> video games like that. I wasn't really worried about video games like that. But okay, when my, when my brother told me about Gears of War. When he told me about Gears uh -huh. of War, I was like, oh, what is this trash? When I saw Gears of War, the inner gamer in me, my heart started pumping. Like, there was uh -huh. no denying that that was a game that I wanted to play. So I, I began to practice playing video games again because, like, I really wasn't playing for years. I began to practice playing video games again. I got this game called Gun because it was a shooter, and yeah. I started playing that just to practice because I, I wanted to get okay at shooters so I could get ready for Gears of War. So if they bring a game like that, Again, yeah. yeah, there's there's no denying that I'm gonna be all on board with it. No denying. You, that's, the thing, that's the thing is I can't force like excitement. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just yeah. like being with being with a woman or whatever like that. It's like I can't force the excitement. You gotta turn me on. Now Nick, you know now Nick, hold on. Now the last time oh. we talked about women, you said if you said if women don't excite you, you jump and ship. Now that's exactly <laughs> what you said. <laughs> You said you said you said when women don't excite you, you just jump ship. I didn't say it like that. Yes, you did. No. Yes, you did. I, we got proof. We got it live. Yeah, you got mean, it on tape. I didn't mean it like that though. Like, like that's not what I meant. I meant I'm jumping ship to another woman. That's what I meant. That's not what you said though. You said when women don't excite you, oh, no I'm jumping ship. I need to watch what I say, man. It's like oh, I, yeah. I forget this is the internet. Um <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, bro. So you so, feel women references for a while, so you figure out what you like. Yeah, you so that's you what that's, already that's, know what I like. That, that's what hey. brought me back to that question, Nick. Like, what if uh, we don't know what uh, Xbox is holding for E3? You know what I'm saying? They uh -huh. might come with games, they might not. So yeah. if they just dropping games like that, plus that power, 
You mean to tell me you're not going to jump ship to, to be an Xbox fanboy instead of a PlayStation one? Well, I'll say this. If they do, it'll definitely make me take notice. I don't know if I'll jump ship to be a quote-unquote Xbox fanboy or whatever, because what made me jump ship from Xbox 360 to PS3 and uh-huh. PS4 or whatever is because Xbox 360 started to stop delivering the games. So they, PlayStation, yeah. PlayStation is not going to stop delivering the games, but I would be more inclined to you know pay more attention to Xbox. It's just like when okay. Gears 4 came out, and Halo came out. Like, I dropped my freaking PlayStation for that. It's like, when they got games that I really like, like, I'm really interested in, that uh-huh. gets my heart beating. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna definitely, I'm gonna definitely be over there. So, you okay. just pretty much console hop. Wherever, whoever released the best way, you just hop on the I'm band a freaking ho. I'm a freaking so, hoe. See, <laughs> up, I'm, I'm, see the truth? Let the truth be I'm a ho. I'm telling you, yeah. like, a lot of people be like, oh, man, PlayStation fanboy Nick and Oh, the PlayStation community welcome me with open arms and stuff. Let Xbox begin to get back on this 360 type game or whatever, yeah. and PlayStation starts slipping. I'm switching gears. I, I do it all the time. Well, at least you honest okay. about it. At least, at least you said it out loud. Like, and I, then look, look, I, like, I know, I know what's gonna make you jump back. What's that? The, the Cuphead. You're the king of indies, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, go ahead. I am gonna get Cuphead when it comes out. That's on my list. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Amazing. But no, I'm just like, yo, know, I go hard for whatever console I'm like currently on. You also, know what I'm saying? Whatever uh, console Ashen I'm currently and below. There's a couple of yeah. games that are coming out in Xbox. Yeah, whatever yeah. console I'm currently dating, you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm exclusive to her, her and I treat her right or whatever, but as soon as she stops turning me on in the bedroom, I gotta go. I gotta oh, go. Oh man. As long All as right, you bring so- in your game, I hope you bring in your game to it. I'm like I'm like Johnny Winterspoon. Bang, bang, bang. Take it. Take we're it. Gonna, we're gonna don't, don't run from it. Take it. We're gonna yeah. switch topics here to something I think is actually pretty, <laughs> pretty freaking sad. Um, it is, it is, Jesus Christ. <laughs> One of us gotta stay professional, right? So uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we we gonna switch topics to something I think is pretty sad that had to happen. Um, that people that people are talking about it, but it is a topic of gaming, so we're gonna get on it. Uh, recently, Phil Spencer had to come out and clarify to the people on this planet without um, fully functioning brain um, <laughs> that the Xbox is not ditching single player games. I even had to go. If you guys follow me on Twitter, you guys know I went back and forth with a Forbes writer. Me and I had a back and forth because he wrote an article saying um, how Phil Spencer said the Xbox will not be making um games like Horizon, they won't be making single player games. And I called him out because Phil Spencer never made those words. And just what he pretty much was saying was uh, multiplayer games are just more profitable. Single player games aren't as profitable as they used to be. Multiplayer games are more profitable, which is true. You got a game, let's say a game like Horizon, I'm sorry, uh, Halo 5 or Gears of War, put it up against a, a great selling game of PlayStation like an Uncharted 4 Horizon Zero Dawn. We look at the physical copy, the physical sales. Yes, the PlayStation game, the, the Horizon or Uncharted 4 will outsell a Gears War 4 or Halo 5. But when you add in the microtransactions and the longevity of a Halo 5, it will by far and beyond outsell, as far as revenue is, a Uncharted 4 or a single-player game. I think it's sad that, that he had to come out and reiterate and 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 make people understand what he's saying. Xbox is not ditching single player games. And for their Forbes writer, you sir, you sir, oh what's wrong with gaming? You're what do you guys think about this? <laughs> Anybody want to go? Uh well I was one of those people who was kind of critical of him at first. I had to actually go back and, and look at it a couple of times to see what he said because for me, even I like I understand the whole multiplayer aspect, but I'm a I'm a single player person. I, I love single player, so I had to really really go back and, and look at what he was saying. Cause I think was it Thursday we had that podcast, and I was like, yo, I don't no not Thursday, Saturday when I heard about what Phil said, and I was like, I don't know. And then I heard Rand um Rand was what's his name, Rand 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 and I, I watch his videos a lot. He was kind of iffy about what Phil said as well. So I understand what he was saying, though. But the, just, the, the single player thing, uh, 
And then people, and people think of that he said when, Xbox won't have these games and they will. Well, so, and then, I mean, Zelda was the wrong example to use because Zelda, no matter microtransactions or not, that joint has longevity. Yeah. Zelda was the wrong thing to use. And I think Horizon as well, because Horizon's not even like I, I wouldn't have used Horizon. It's a new IP. I, I, I wouldn't have used Horizon. I, I think, but what I think it's your definition of what longevity is because see when i heard the comments what i did was make sure i go back and look at what he said before and what he said afterwards and then i completely understood the point that he was making see you we we, we all think in terms as gamers and we have our definition of what a successful game is but someone like phil spencer his definition of success longevity is what games are going to bring in not just revenue but pro what are profitable for us? What games are out there that we can make a profit from so then, then we can take that money and create bigger and better games for our gamers? And yeah. what he's saying is that single player games, and he gave an example of a single player game like Horizon Zero Dawn and Legend of Zelda. Those games don't have the profitability like a game like Gears or Halo or games as a service games for, you know, um, you know, games that where you can, you can get people and they're engaged and then like you can Overwatch. Microsoft. Yes. Like, like Overwatch. Overwatch. And that's, that's really what he was saying. So, uh, you know, any, anybody, in, any of us to be, I, I mean, I love single player games myself. And he even stated in his, in that discussion, that he wants a model where single player games can, as well as multiplayer games can have that longevity, can be successful because he understands that the environment is changing and he gets that. And that's what we want. We want people, Phil Spencer's, we want the Sony, Yoshida, we, we want them to get it and understand what's happening right now. And I mean, the, the honest out is it's a changing, it's changing. The, the gaming demographic is just changing. And I, and I don't want my single player games to go anywhere. I love great singer, playing single player games. I mean, don't you guys remember when when um, DLC, I mean, we were all complaining about DLC at one time. I'm tired of them, you know, selling us the games in, deal, you know, uh, uh, in DLC, but just adding on games. Why can't you give me all my content, you know, when I pay my $60? Well, the reason for that was because those, those studios and developers, they needed to make their money back. That's why they were selling us deals, a lot of that DLC content. And some of us, yeah, were trying to get over on us, and we know that. But these studios, got they have to make money. These games are not free. They're not just sitting around going on a computer and just going to create a game for us that makes that's beautiful and give us all the bells and whistles. And we not expect, you know, not expect, you know, those games to cost. So, yeah. You know, but I mean, yeah. but I mean, people always get on Yoshida for what did, I think what did he say this in 2013 he was like Sony can make 10 games and they only gonna make money off about three of them so I think it also comes down to this to the studio I mean the publisher or whatever you want to call it as mm -hmm. well because most of the time Sony doesn't make a, a extreme huge profit off of every game that they put out they may make a profit off of about three games and the rest they may come out just flat and flat line but they still bring them out. It is, it just all depends because I I've, I've learned over the years I don't think Sony cares. I think they care more about they care about making money, but I think they also care about giving their niche little side pieces. But you also have to understand that Sony has had to slash, and you're looking at the the PlayStation division. But Sony as a company over the past few years they've been bleeding. Oh yeah, I mean they, they have, have they have that they they're, 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 yeah. Like, but it wasn't games. just but it wasn't just the gaming division that was killing them. Right. Is they damn them high price ass TVs like people like cats like Vizio and um Samsung start cutting and slashing their TV prices and that kept and that was hurting Sony even though Sony has the quality a Vizio and a Samsung half the price and you're still doing about the same thing as Sony. So why would you pay? Two mm -hmm. and three thousand dollars for a TV, where well, you can pay about twelve hundred to eight hundred and get about the same thing. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. So they they were and then they I think they do a better job at 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 I think they're over they're overhead like bringing games that that don't cost um, a whole lot to make and then they're able to to recoup that cost. I think Sony does a much better job at that uh, than Microsoft. Yeah, because games like say a Persona won't cost as much as a game like Horizon. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. It won't cost that much to make them, but they exactly. still make their money. Like yes. a, a Rocket League. A Ro Who exactly. Would have Rocket League would be making all this money they're making right now. Mm -hmm. You know, I really think a lot of it to kind of twist back to where we where it was. I think a lot of it is people just look for another opportunity to twist to twist words. Like I said, the whole point of people went all up and through social media. Oh, Xbox not making the more single player games. Phil Spencer hates single player games. I think people took it as a, another opportunity to twist his words. And he, like I said, for the people who still are ignorant to the fact of what's going on, once again, and he even had to make tweet about this. Xbox is not, they are not ditching single player games. He never said they were not going to continue to make single player games. And he even said that there are new single player IPs unannounced. They have ready. They have ready to announce for Xbox exclusive. So, for the people who run it with this narrative, I just, I just think you guys are hella sad. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm glad. That I think, I think both can coexist. I've always said that multiplayer was the next new thing last generation, and that some single player kind of took a backseat a little bit because it was a phenomenon. We really didn't see multiplayer like that until PS3 for the most part. Like it got extremely huge but i feel like single player and multiplayer can coexist yeah i've always yeah. thought that way i always yeah. thought mm -hmm. and the thing uh, about it is also sony i still think they're looking for another last of us type of multiplayer or uncharted 2 to really get them to where they are when it comes to xbox's multiplayer games but i feel like this generation they've how can i say this they they have the first party and they don't have, they really don't need that premier shooter because third party is taking care of that. Yeah, I've, I've seen that this generation that they haven't really pretty much relying on it that much for their first party titles. They've just lit. If you want a multiplayer experience, you all you got to do is get third party, and that's been fixed and it get giving people their multiplayer fix for the most mm. part. I get more out of my money getting a, a a good single player than i do going to the movies like you know how you go to the movies and you see the movie and that's basically it and you don't really care to see it no more unless it was a good movie but if you got a good single player game you can play that over and over again and mm -hmm. definitely get the money to work <laughs> yeah yeah you it's also see an influx too of the, the single player games for adding multiplayer mode too you see that you yeah. see a lot of that uncharted did it Rise of the Tomb Raider did it, you know, so a lot of them are still trying to, okay, now how can we keep that engagement so that we can make this game even more profitable than it, you know, or not, yeah. increase its profitability. There's an influx of more RPGs. This year. So RT, you, if anybody knows about RPGs, you're going to get a, a lot of content, which is, I think, another thing they're kind of offsetting as well. Like, if you, a, a good RPG can last you for a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And we're getting way more of those this generation than we were last year. That is so true. I have mm -hmm. noticed that, or at least taking use RPG elements, even mm -hmm. if they aren't necessarily full fledged RPGs, they take a lot of the elements of RPGs and incorporate them. In, yeah, they're intertwined. Yes, yes. Yeah, like yeah. Horizon Zero Dawn is a great example. It the game yes. longevity. You know what I'm saying? Which if, if it if it didn't have the skill trees and certain things, the longevity of the game mm -hmm. wouldn't be as much as it is. But because you mm -hmm. put some of those things in there, even little or how less, it gives the gamer an incentive to want to, you know what I'm saying, build up their skill tree or build up all the skill trees or um, go mm -hmm. do this mission, go do that mission, just like a full fledged RPG mm -hmm. would, like maybe like The Witcher. Or like like I'm playing Persona right now, which like I'm in I'm a hundred hours into that game right now. Yeah, exactly. And then when you go to work and sit around the water cooler, y'all talk about that type of stuff <laughs> to another gamer. That's right. Yeah, That's right. And then thing is with RPGs, here's the thing. 
the first couple of years when I came back, you know, or, or I say come back to gaming because I gamed a little bit when I was in, you know, when I was younger, but really appreciating and being the gamer that I am now. My first three, four years of gaming, I played the same games over and over. I had like five playthroughs of Fable, five playthroughs of Dragon Age 1 and 2. I played those games, Skyrim. I played those games for like three years straight, the same games. And we'll talk about the different, the variation of the ending, the ending and how you could, you know, this playthrough, how different my experience was or who I, what I encountered or what decision or choices I made, it, mm. it, you know, doing this particular playthrough. So, yeah, yeah. I think our, that's, um, that's a plus with, um, with RPGs. You have no no Making idea. Thoughts about that? You have no hold on. You have no idea how many people are waiting for me to get Zelda around my workplace just to see me play it and and, and get and see how far I get in. What what you said? Somebody you said something? No, I, I was asking if you had any thoughts about that. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I do. I was trying to let you know everybody else get their word in because um, I'm light skinned and I tend not to think about other people's feelings. <laughs> so I want to make sure everybody able to get their word in, but um. Yeah, my only thoughts about it is, yeah, I don't think Phil was, I never ever thought he was talking about, you know, anything bad against single player games, even the first time he said it or whatever. I didn't get that from that. Uh, my only concern was the idea of um, using games as like a service. Um, That's my only concern um, because I'm not a, a fan of, let's say, games like Destiny. You know, I know Destiny is hugely successful, and I get what Mama C was saying as far as making money back and all that stuff. But I, I, I'm not a huge fan of games like that, and I just don't want to see the landscape of games um, just that to take over or Microsoft to, you know, start, like, using that as, like, their number one way of making games. You know what I mean? It's like Destiny was chopped and screwed. I don't care what anybody thinks. It's, I, I, did, I didn't like Destiny. I didn't like the way they did it. You know, it was chopped and screwed. They purposely did it to get more money out of people, and I just don't like games like that. So the idea of having more games like that and Microsoft being like, oh, yeah, this is the way to go, I, I don't want that. You know what I'm saying? And not to say that he's saying that that is the way to go, but he did mention that. And I'm like, I'm hoping that's – I mean, I, I can see why they would in, in some cases, but I hope that's not like the new model. You know what I'm saying? Like the new direction of how they're going to be making, you know, their games, you know, I hope they don't take on that role. Um, but that was like my, my only concern about what he said. I didn't think he was saying they're not gonna make any more single player games and they hate single player games and all this crap. But that was my concern from what he said. So. Yeah, I, I, I know my, my homeboy, he was like, well, he brought up the wrong, like, uh, how, how did he, he frame it? He was like, well, I feel like he brought up the wrong games and that, he just saying that because the single player games that he brought out aren't making all that money. And I'm like, come on, man. Like, it's, I don't think it was that. Well, the thing is, the third party has already adapted that model. I mean, we, we just got to be honest, okay? They're oh, yeah. already doing it. So the, the expectation that Microsoft and Sony shouldn't look at what's happening. Because now, mind you, Sony isn't in a different position. But mind you, that's the right now. And we know that this right now is going to change two and three years from now. And what I don't want to see is see us not be willing to adapt and accept. And I'm not saying we should give up single player experiences, but at some point we have to say to ourselves, now look, do we want Sony and Microsoft to be able to bring us the games that we want? Yes. Okay. So should, but do we want to create an environment that regardless of what they do so they can sustain and sustain their comp sustain the market, sustain themselves and give us the games that we want to play? Maybe, may, maybe, and I'm not saying this is a definite, but maybe games as a service is a way of profitability so that Microsoft and maybe even Sony at some point, and mind you, they put out PSN now, they have, they, they, they're they doing things so that they themselves can can bring in more revenue and and profit as well and they are looking at that and they know that they have to they, they're going to have to make adjustments they're going to have to you know uh uh ch change the with the times in order to sustain it i'm all for like evolving and stuff but i i here's here's the thing though um i i think it's wrong and i don't like the the business model of chopping and screwing a game up like a single player game for example i don't like the idea of chopping and screwing a single player game up just to get more money out of you and, and just spreading it out and stuff i don't like that like i, I, I don't either. i don't like that idea and if 
that's the direction that gaming is going. Like we as the consumers, like we have what the power. DLC? That's like, what DLC I, I know, is. I know. And like you said, a lot of third parties. And they've been doing it for of, and they've been doing it for years. Yeah, a lot, but a lot of third parties see DLC has gotten worse and worse though. DLC it used has. to be DLC used to be okay, but that's what I'm saying. We as the consumers, we got the power. Like if we if we don't buy that stuff. They have no choice but to not make it, you know what I'm saying? But if we buy it and stuff, they're going to keep feeding into it. So, like, I, I get that people, like, these companies need to make a profit or whatever, but we, it's in our hands what we want, you know what I'm saying? So, me as a consumer, I'm not supporting games like Destiny and stuff. That's my choice. I'm not putting my money in that. I'm making a stand and saying, you chop and screw a game up like that just to get more money out of me. I'm not supporting it, you know what I'm saying? So, that's me as a consumer, and I feel like if more consumers would, you know, be like that, we wouldn't be in the predicament we are right now, you know? So, it's really yeah, actually I mean, on us. I think consumers have been doing that more and more since the internet has evolved because we like evolve. The internet tore that game another asshole. And yeah. you see what happened. <laughs> People didn't buy it. Yeah, so, it's like, it's I mean, like it works. Like nobody still playing it. Yeah, it work it works if 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 you screw same thing with Street Fighter 5, even though a lot of people play it. It's not as much as you would think it would yeah, be on like a Super Nintendo level. Yeah, yeah, that did, they, that, they that did bad. Yes. They messed up. You know and what I'm saying? Hopefully they learned their damn lesson. I mean, yeah. I was I was one of those ones that was uh, highly upset. I played plenty of Destiny, enjoyed Destiny, but I was highly upset when I found out that Taken King wasn't part of my of the se season pass, and I spent forty for the season pass, and then I had to pay. You're asking me to pay another forty dollars for the Taken King, and I was highly upset about that. And I did not play the game anymore after that. It was because of that, not because I didn't enjoy Destiny, because I had hella fun playing that game. But you know, the thing is, we're gamers, and gamers are going to want that fix. And Nicodemus, I totally agree with you with what you're saying that we should take a stand. But how, however, you feel that way, I feel like that way. Some of us feel that way, but they know that's not going to happen because gamers are going to want to get that fix on. And guess what they're going to do? Just like those that complained about Destiny, they ran out there and mm -hmm. still bought it. Yeah. Destiny 2 is going to sell like hot. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, it is. Just watch. You know what? Oh, I know. I know. It is. Look, though, it this is. thing about it Destiny is. 2, though, I think they learned from Destiny 1 because at first, like, it sold well and then it, it dropped off dramatically. And then it started to pick back up once they started to get their footing and, and they stopped chopping up stuff. And the game started to feel more like what it should have been at the beginning. Mm -hmm. So I feel like this time around, they're not going to have that many I'll issues. never forgive Bungie for what they did to me with Destiny. I that's don't think... Like, I, I don't that's think like it was five good. months of my I damn life. I can't even recall. I don't think it was... And so it good. amounted to shit. I don't so think it was... What made you stop playing in Nicodemus? Well, you played but, it for but, five months? Uh, right? Yeah. Yeah, I played for five months, and it was just the, the lack of content. And then it was... Man... Okay, I was disappointed in the story off top. Originally, just totally disappointed in the story. But the multiplayer, I'm not going to lie, the multiplayer was extremely fun. But it was like the, just the lack of content. And then when they started releasing content that mm -hmm. was supposed to get you engaged, it was it was like overpriced. And I'm like, yeah. look, I can't keep putting money in this game just to keep having fun with it. Like like Kronk said, it was like dry as hell for like months. Like you basically, you were just playing off of an addiction. I swear, bro. It's like crack. <laughs> Like I, I will never forgive these like, for this. <laughs> never forgive them for this. That devil's the. De you know how many times I did the devil's uh strike? Oh my gosh! Yes. How many times? Yo, I I, bi I vividly remember this crap, man. And I'm like, I'm not going through this again. I'm not gonna like fall for this crap yeah. again. You know. And then that loot, that loot crate stuff was all fucked up too, as well. Like you, you know, you do all the work and then you don't get shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that was, that, that's that's what hurt everybody. Thing. I'd be number one on the leaderboard, and you though, crap. It took a long time for them to fix it. Yeah. And you couldn't freaking have the man. The rage used to piss me off, though. I know I'm going on a tangent, but the rage used to piss me off because you didn't, you could not match make or whatever like that. And I, I'd be stuck there in the freaking tower begging for people <laughs> soliciting for people to play with me in the raid. That was yeah. pathetic. <laughs> I tell you another thing. I hope I hope they put four people in there this time <laughs> instead of three. Would you join my team, yeah, brother? Three, would, you, would, you, would you join the cause, team. brother? Like I got a big crew, and like we was having to like make three or four different groups just to go play, and it, yeah, it needed, to, it, it needed to be four v four. Yeah, it needs to be four people this time. Yeah, I hope they put four in there, man. Because even Splatoon got four four characters on there. Like I'm like, man, three is kind of odd. Cause you gotta that uh, that fourth friend gets left out, man. You know what I'm saying? So I don't, I don't know why they do three. Like I don't. I don't hey, so I wish it was four. 
So did anybody see that 19 minutes of Phantom Dust gameplay today? Mm-mm. I don't. Uh, I don't. Uh, 19 minutes of it was released. Uh, you guys should definitely check it out. Um, and it it has the notion of it being 480, 480p has gone to the wayside. It is it is in 1080p. But a lot of people on social media are really killing it because they're saying, oh, the game looks clunky, it looks like crap. But people got to remember, this isn't a remaster of a 360 game. It's a it's a HD. Re, uh, I, I wish I could do, you guys could see my air quotes, remaster of an OG Xbox game because the assets are still the same. A lot of people expect it for this remaster to be a complete overhaul, and it's not. And so on social media, I hope hopefully you guys are looking at it now, so you guys can actually get your thoughts on this. So social media is pretty much killing Phantom Dust. People expected it to be, you know, just this beautiful looking game when they don't realize it is a OG Xbox game that just been upraised to 1080 p because the assets for the game are still the same. I think this game should be looked at. Yeah, like be uh be monetary. It's an HD uplift. I think people should look. I think the game probably going to be 15 bucks. I think people should look at it in the same way they kind of looked at Voodoo Vents. I know a lot of people who who clowned Voodoo Vents and then played it and was like, oh, snap, like this game was actually pretty fun. You know, uh, Phantom Dust has, you know, it has its following. It has a bit of a cult following. You know, a lot of people enjoy the the, the combat system. And the people say, oh, it looks clunky. We got to understand that this game isn't like a normal, you know, fighter or third-person fighter game. You know, it's like a card-based uh Slash combat game. It's it's it's, it's a 2004, wasn't it? This this the original 2004. Yep. Game. But most of the people that I see that aren't satisfied with it is some of them Xbox fans. I see aren't satisfied with it. I know Zaire, Zaire yeah. made a video about it. And he was like, I don't know about this. But was, what's it, what is it? What that they they I mean, it's not me. Not we, me. We, we we say Xbox doesn't have games. They put out a game, they go to a, to an OG game, and you complain about it. It's like, what yeah. game is, I mean, I'm sorry, y'all, but we are so doggone freaking annoying mm-hmm. at times. Yeah, we, we don't know what the hell, hell we want. We don't. I'm just so Cameron sick of that. We, it's about the I game. Said, it's about yeah, being seriously. Fun. I like, I've been saying this since last year. Not generation. you. This isn't at you, Cron Girl. Please, I promise. This wasn't at you, girlfriend. This was just at the <laughs> annoyance of, of, of that, period. Now, not even Zaire. You know, it's, it's just that. Come on, do we? Oh my gosh! Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm telling y'all go ahead, Mama. See, the I've been is... me and my girl Red Infamy. We've been saying this for freaking years. Gamers do not know what they want. Once you give it to them, they don't want it no more. Cats complained about Call of Duty forever and a day. Call of Duty went to space, and now they're like, "Oh, we don't want that no more. We won't call. We want World War II again." <laughs> uh, they say, oh, Resident Evil needs to change. Resident Evil needs this and that. Resident Evil goes first person and cats like, oh, I don't want to play Resident Evil in first person. I want third person back again. <laughs> like, what the hell do oh you want? Oh. And what I'm like, you? obviously it's not... I would hate to this be in the a, But right this now. is a pre-E3 release of gameplay, so obviously this isn't like the limelight of what's coming at E3. If they're releasing, we if we I'm got. Glad E3, they're showing like I'm this glad they're showing E3. it down. Because, that's, because that shows this is not our, yeah. our bread and butter. Either. Yeah, this isn't our where our focal well, point is. Doing anything right now, like let them show a little, a little something, a little taste of, you know what I'm saying, to succeed the fans. Because PlayStation do it, why not? Oh, man. Cash just a, you know, it's crazy because you, you talked earlier, Crunk, about how PlayStation will put out certain games not expect to be profitable. People always praise PlayStation for putting out games that they that, that, that the fans ask for. Even if they make the money off of it, they put it out. You know what I'm saying? So Xbox doing it, not saying there's a bigger following for a Voodoo Vent or a, a Phantom Dust, but there is a following for it, and they put that game out. When PlayStation does it, it's okay. Now Xbox is doing it, people want to clown it. And those people say, oh, well, that's all they put, that's all they put out. I think people need to kind of step back and look at what they're saying. People say, oh, I want the best graphics and best best graphics in gaming. Oh, oh, oh no, I don't care about the gameplay. Well, you got a game that people actually, you know, enjoy that if you try, you might like. Oh, well, it looks ugly to me. It looks like it looks like an old Xbox game. Trigger, because it is an old Xbox game. Like, <laughs> trigger. <laughs> you know what they want, though? They want since y'all got uh what was it, Halo, Halo 2 remastered? They want yeah. every game to look like that. I'm telling you, if yeah. you redo a game, it better look. People, it people better are begging, like that. are begging for a Halo Three anniversary. But so you you want a Halo Three anniversary? But if they drop it, what you gonna say? Oh, here go another Halo game. Halo Three is Forza, but you still begging for an anniversary. Play the original Phantom Dust. Did you game alive? 
Did you? No, I didn't. I never played it, but I'm looking at what you're talking about. I've heard about. I played it. Oh. I've heard I didn't play it in depth, but I played it. Yeah. I've heard of it before, and I mean, it looks cool. I yeah, really I'm looking think, at it now. It looks all right. I really I think that problem. this game is being put out. <laughs> I, I still think they're going to do the remake. I think when they said they, they said they never actually canned it, that they put it on a back burner, they had to get a new studio to work on it. I think this is kind of like a holdover to that. I think that remake is still coming. I, I honestly think that remake is still coming. Maybe that's where the salt is that they, you know, so much just they didn't do a remake. Because some people still want wanted, wanted that remake. And yeah. like I said, I still think it's coming. I think this is just a, a bridge to the remake, honestly. Well, I mean, if they got that much salt for it, then why, did, why, why didn't they throw that salt on when they brought that Call of Duty uh, Black Ops 2 and remake that then? Uh, th- I mean, that's the same damn game. How, th- thank, mm. thank you. Mm. I wasn't excited for Black Ops. Thank you. It was, oh, Black Ops 2. I'm like, well, same yeah. game. I heard that joint the might same be the same game. In June. Yeah, I wasn't excited for that. It's the same thing yeah. with, like, like I'm, I'm excited for Crash, but you want to know why? Because that joint look brand new. Oh you know what I'm saying? man! Speaking like, of crash, I mean, extremely brand new. I'm excited for that. But if mm-hmm. somebody's excited for Phantom Dust, let them. But like, if it ain't for you, yeah. it's for you. After yeah. you go, Kronk, I, I gotta say something about Crash before we move on. Yeah. Um, crash. I'm not as excited for Crash anymore. Whoa! Yeah, what? Whoa. yeah I gotta, be, gotta be honest here, guys. I tried. I tried. I tried. Yeah, this That's is amazing. New. If you've been Remember following. That? It, I mean, I know I, I've got millions of followers. I'm that famous YouTuber, so everybody knows what I've been saying about Crash. Yeah, this is a Nicodemus. Um, Who has taken over Nicodemus? I know. Too, China? This, is, look, this is not look, light skin king or into speaking like that. Things. He's a fraud. I, I, promise, I promise I'm not possessed, but I, I played it. I played it at Best Buy, and I cannot lie. Those controls feel not only clunky, but stiff as hell. Like, I, I didn't feel it in my heart. I, I didn't, and I don't know if I'm going to get it now. The visuals look great, but, man, it just feels... Outdated, I slow. I guarantee you're the clunky. only PlayStation person is gonna admit that. Yo, the only one's gonna admit it. I go, mean, go to Best Buy and try it. There's three what? levels. I didn't just try what? a minute of it. I tried three levels, and man, it's not what that is. I'm you sorry. Know, how did you feel? <laughs> like, huh? did you, did you, like you remember how Crash feels, right? Yeah, but I was, I was like, I was young. I mean, I'm still young, obviously. If you see Lies. in these streets, I'm still young. <laughs> but Lies. I was much younger, and it was a different time and stuff. And I don't know. It's, it, 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 I, I still, I think that even if they, I mean, if you're gonna remaster something, or remake something, you gotta update the controls. You gotta make it, you know, new age to an extent. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's just sluggish. It I is. mean, I understand that, but that's the same thing what people say about Resident Evil, like. Oh, I hate the clunky controls, but then when you get the new controls, you don't like them either. I'm like, well, what, like, what do you want? Because I feel like the Resident Evil controls is kind of what made the game what it was. I'm what saying, look, controls? I'm saying I was I was trying to jump, and um, I was like just just randomly falling in the water. It, I don't know, man. Maybe it was the Best Buy demo, but I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm not impressed. Well, maybe it's because you haven't played Crash in so long. No, I'm a platforming <laughs> king out here in these streets. If it's a oh, platformer, I, I, I know. Since you played Crash. I, 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 man, since PS freaking yeah. 1. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. Sometimes when you forget how a game feels and then you go back, you're like, ooh. I don't think I'm getting I it. I went back to Cypher Filter, and you know Cypher Filter, you, we didn't have analog sticks at first. So when I went back to play that game, I was like, "Ugh, how the like this don't feel right." You know what I'm saying? I, I tell you what, that cyber belt is still fun though. When you get yeah. that taser out and uh, you take that motherfucker, you burn up. <laughs> 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 I was trying to figure out how to kill him. That's <laughs> worth the admission <laughs> alone. <laughs> like, like, how, how, can you realize how it would be to shoot without analog sticks? Like, yeah, I couldn't yeah. do it. <laughs> yeah, that's back in the day. Yeah, but the the game I'm waiting on is that Sonic Mania. That's what I'm waiting Ooh, on. Ooh, I'm hoping I'm hoping it's not like Sonic Four, man. Like I've been disappointed ever since Sonic Four. I've stayed away from Sonic games, so I'm hoping that this one. I hope they bring out a demo so I can try it. If it's good, man, I'm gonna be so happy. I've been waiting for a good Sonic for years. I love. Hey, it. Oh, yeah. so why why y'all bringing up an irrelevant character? Let's talk about a relevant one. Oh damn, Mario. Yes, indeed. Mario I knew it was coming. Deluxe has been selling like. Crazy, yeah, it has. Bro, it's been all over the place, all over Target, billboards. Mario has come back almost as strong as Pokemon came back. Mario is everywhere. I have a Switch. Mm-hmm. I take that joint to work, and I am playing Mario Kart all through 
the day. And I what do you think that about this Mario? Mm -hmm. What do you think about this Mario Kart, the sales, and it's kind of Mario kind of just being back? It ain't even that. The last Mario Kart sold well. You know that, right? The last one yeah. sold but well. It, it, it might have sold well, but it wasn't as much hype and as Not fandom as, yeah, as, yeah, as it like is it now. Is now. Um, Nintendo first party titles, they sell. Mario's like that new Mario coming out in November. That yeah. model is going to sell. The attach rate yeah. on this Mario is crazy. It's at 50%. Like half yeah, the people who like, have a Switch like, got the Mario. It's like, ridiculous. Yeah. Same thing with the attach rates are high. Well, this is this is the bad part. Like when I went to go get my switch was like three days ago. <laughs> they told me that was, I had a choice to pick, and it was between Mario Kart Eight and Zelda. I seen I looked at my little social media feed. You know what I'm saying? So many people was on the Kart Eight. I had to turn down Zelda, which I'm picking it up this week. You know when I get a chance. But I had to turn down the Zelda and pick up the Mario Kart Eight because it's popping, and, and it, like everybody's on that thing. Everybody. Everybody. Oh wow! Matter of fact, game of five wow. to get your friend code when the show is. Oh going. yeah, we definitely yeah yeah we well, definitely hit me up on there. People who actually played it, how's that online though? Like, is it running? Let me tell you something. I'll tell you right now. I'll tell you right now. I'm online with it with a cell phone, and it and it's picking up while I'm at work. Mm, it's sweet. it runs sweet. Cool. Yeah, it runs very sweet. Yeah, man. I was in, I was in a lobby with Kofi and Arsenal and and Erica, man. And, Yo, like it's just fun, dude. Like I heard, it's, I heard, it's I heard, I heard Kofi trash at that game though. Nah, Kofi a beast. Yeah, I heard Kofi Bland. I was gonna have a Bland Drew. I heard Bland. I heard <laughs> Bland. I heard, I heard Bland and Kofi, dusting that boy. I heard Bland and dusting that. Kofi boy. don't like playing with items because he be in yeah. first place and be getting his ass lit up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Item, that item game crazy on Mario Kart. Yeah, if you can get yeah, if you got some uh, some money or you know what I'm saying or a little cash in the piggy bank, go go bust that piggy bank open now and go get that thing. Cause <laughs> I'm it make me want to go buy another Switch, man, just with Mario Kart Eight because it's so fun and so addictive. It's fun, like it's man. addictive. It ain't even fun. It it's is. addictive. Man, I, I gotta for it not to be my main console. I need more games to play than just. Like one or two. That's just me. Hey, I'm just saying. You and know what I'm saying? Put two for the drop. I'm sorry, but yeah. and then that that new NBA game. I know it's multi plat but that's type of game that I buy on my Switch. It looks yeah. it looks fun. I think I seen Mama Cita post that joint up. That joint look fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What like the no, the NBA playground. Oh yeah, the playground. Okay. I'm yeah, you put, I think you posted it on yeah, Twitter. That's the type of game I play on my Switch, so I could take it with yeah. me to work and play. Exactly, exactly. Like that's the, and here's the sad part, man. Everybody in here knows that I'm a neutral. Everybody knows that I love them all. I love filthy all the neutral. games. Filthy, yes, I'm very filthy. <laughs> but let me let me tell you something, man. Mm. If, uh, that switch is making me pick, boy, because hey, when you can <laughs> when you can take your games on the go like that, like and then still play it on and your they TV still look stuff. beautiful. They still and they still look beautiful. Hey, fellas, fellas, I'm asking you a question though. I, I have a dilemma though. You might not have the same dilemma, but like when you're out in the world and all the money and women are in your face and stuff, how you how you pay attention to the switch? Like, is listen, that just me? Is that just listen, me? bro? Or, you don't understand. Hey. I'm gonna say this quiet so my wife don't really hear it. Listen, you don't understand. Folks gravitate to you like, oh, is that that new exactly. Nintendo? Let me see that. Yeah. They, right, exactly. You look up, I have four or five people behind you watching yeah. you play the Switch, bro. It's That's real. You're right? looking to get yeah. honeys. I'm, I'm telling you one thing. Watch the 3DS. Yes, slide over to that Switch. It's gonna be a problem. Yeah, and then and then uh, just trying just to do, trying to get that 3ds crowd to get over to that switch. Yeah, when yeah, yeah. And, drop for the switch, it's a wrap. Yeah, and then here's yeah. another thing to pick it back on you, uh, fame. I brought that uh switch to work like right after I bought it. I thought it was gonna be a social reject. I thought I was about to get laughed out the building. You know what I'm saying? But man, everybody I, got I, to I, I sat, to you. Yeah, I sat that switch down, man. You should have seen how many people wanted to play. And then when they got done playing, they said, "Man, I'm picking me one up." And they right. like. And then they came back and asked me, it was like, man, where can I get one? I can't find them. I was like, man, they all sold out. <laughs> and I have four co-workers today tell me they go on and, and go on out searching for a Switch because I, I took them Joy-Cons away. I gave them one. I said, let's play Mario Kart. They said, what? I said, you're going to play with this little thing. I hooked up on my steering wheel. I'm about to look <laughs> Oh, you got the said, steering wheel and everything. You, yeah, you a pro. Like, <laughs> they said, yeah, I'm going to go buy this today. I'm like, good luck yeah. finding one. I'm telling yeah, you, good luck. I've been a social reject, and Nikki talking about the honeys, man. Trust me, females <laughs> gravitate to you when they see they switch. Dog. Yeah, they really and would. The commercial was right. 
Get you a Russell Wilson was exactly right. Yeah, Russell yeah. Life? Oh man! Hey, hey! I was one of the first to laugh at that commercial. I was one of the first. I laughed my ass off about that commercial, especially about the one playing basketball when they out there playing basketball. But y'all doing that too? Y'all doing that too? You know, I, I am. I'm gonna do it because I'm gonna tell you yes, why. Indeed. Just think, just think. You know, when you get all tired and out of shape, you're like, look, man, I can't run up and down that damn court no more. But I can whoop your ass in this 2K. You yeah. think nobody ain't gonna sit up there? Why you waiting on next? Why you waiting on yeah. next? Oh yeah. Why switch? you waiting on next? Yeah. Hell yeah. Getting your game plan ready on the yes, side. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's up. Man, I, I, tell me, I, tell me um, you wouldn't turn down. Tell me you wouldn't turn down an uh, NBA two K game. Oh well, no, You're here's the thing. Right there in your face. Here's the thing, though. I'm not like um, because the switch at first, it um, it wasn't appealing to me at all. But it's starting to really uh interest me. But the only thing if with me is that I'm not like a mobile like gamer. I don't play mobile games whatsoever, even on my phone or whatever. I just I wouldn't do it. I'm just kind of like different like that. Um, but yeah. I do see, I do see the appeal, you know. So I do see the appeal now in the Switch, and you know what is actually bringing to gaming. So I do applaud Nintendo for uh, doing their damn thing out here. I will. Only thing that. Nintendo missing besides the apps like Netflix and that browser. Only thing yeah. Nintendo really missing is an achievement system. Yeah, yeah. yeah y'all need I want to, I want to, I want to hit first place on five straight matches. And I want to hear. Here we go. And get a yeah. Yeah. I don't yes, want that. Nobody do that. But they, they a lot of fans is complaining, like, oh, I don't want them to do that. And I'm just supposed to be just for the fun. Like the achievement system, man, is something that keeps game back, man. Here we go. Man. Said, Here we go. Yeah. Every, every time I do something. Here we go. Man. Y'all need yeah, a party chat, tell though. you who Y'all need a party chat, second though, and third. They do tell you where you, you know, yeah. they do give the yeah. stats, the leaderboard stats. So what's the... I, I want to I want to point the flip up in the air, and I want everybody to say, here we go, every time I get an achievement. That's right. And, and, here's, and here's another thing. We don't know if they're not going to bring that, because they, they still haven't... Uh, we still don't know too much about their online service. Mm-hmm. I heard they, they're, they're, they're like, going to put it out and post it. Like, but it ain't gonna be like everybody thought it was. Cause I was a little disappointed that they didn't talk more about it when they first yeah. the switch. I'm like, you ain't really telling people much for the fans who own a like who don't own PS4 and the Xbox One who aren't used to online. You kind of you kind of aren't laying it out for people. I ain't gonna lie, thirty dollars. I think it's thirty a year. Yeah, they said it's gonna be free though yeah, until I, they start up. But for thirty a year, I'm behind that. Yeah, yeah. I'm behind that too. Cause you it's pay more than that than you, you do in PlayStation what, Xbox. You got to see what comes with it, though, and I, and this is their first online, so I'm hoping that everything turns out well. Here I don't care what comes with it. I don't care what comes <laughs> with it. The game, the game, go. The, yeah, the <laughs> game so that's so good so far on there is cool. It's still, people who don't pay for PSN, like they just will not. They they they're sticking to their guns, and they're I like, like I respect that. They're, they are consumers, and they're making a stand. I respect that. Yeah. I mean, like, you don't agree with something. You don't agree with something. Don't bitch about it on the internet with other fanboys and stuff. Don't, just put your money where your mouth is. Don't yeah, us, P- us PS3 cats had to eat the bullet and and start paying for online. It is what it is. Yeah, yeah. Put your money where your mouth is. Yeah, Here we go. I just feel like you <laughs> <laughs> like, gonna let that go. Start making- <laughs> I know who your character is. <laughs> I'm just saying, if you want to start me paying for it, it better be. Uh, it's got to be worth it yeah. that's why i say like psn this generation is better than last generation but they still got a, a long way to go man i want y'all to go on social media tag nintendo in a tweet and i want y'all to be hashtag here we go we're gonna get this achievement system <laughs> here we go, here we go. <laughs> that would be that, dope that would be cool lie. it would that would be dope so i think we need to go ahead and wrap it up unlike some people who be having all these chillings we're gonna wrap it up oh damn uh, <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna wrap it up, man. It's been a hell of a show, man. Game of Lives Matter, man. He was our guest today. Much love for him coming out. So let's, let's get these outros sure. going. We're gonna start with the best bot, Nicodemus X. Yeah, Nicodemus <laughs> Xbox. Xbox Nico is in that building. We need to bring Xbox Nico back, though, for real. Hey, man. That, hey, that we, we, truth. we need we to switch up Saturday or Fanboy Friday. We, we'll do it soon, guys. We promise. Yeah, it's all about scheduling. It. Yeah, yeah, we do because I need to get my, my inner pony. Out, you know, I've been holding it in. Holding it in you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, it sounds like you got your end upon around now since your voice is hoarse. I know. Oh, <laughs> nice. That's you right. Know. Yeah, you right. <laughs> I swear, I swear, I work with a bunch of cartoon characters. Like real talk. But my light skinned brother from somebody else's mother, Mister Nicodemus X. 
yeah what's good so, uh thanks everybody for joining make sure you guys hit that like button on your way out because like <laughs> lives matter on youtube put the fist up let's go um but yeah everybody for joining appreciate you guys and um definitely shout out to gamer lives for coming on here man level-headed gamer always good to have some intelligent level-headed gamers that actually play games um to talk about games you know what i'm saying and um yeah make sure you guys you know check out the website i almost said something but check out the website tickin.com you know what I'm saying for your latest and greatest in gaming news reviews and opinionated pieces uh make sure you guys check out trophy life podcast the premier plot podcast for all things playstation and that's about it that's all i want to say thanks for watching mm. then we got miss 2v1 herself mm -hmm. yeah I appreciate y'all uh, rolling with me. Yes, my, my voice is kind of hoarse. So y'all may have heard the, you know, the horse come out at some point. But, uh, <laughs> 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 but I'm shout out to you, Gamer Lives Matter, for coming in and joining us tonight. I, I appreciate all it. Mine. Yeah, and um, this is this was really good. And um, I'm looking forward to our uh, we're having our Borderlands uh, night this weekend. Yeah. Um, thing. Yeah, we're gonna play Borderlands two on Xbox, right? Yes, yes, ma'am. So right. anybody wanna anybody wanna go out, run through hit me up? Maybe we can let y'all slide in. But yeah. we'll see. Okay, I'm happy to get I'm getting my one-on-one -on -one time, yo. Yo. Yeah. What the <laughs> is. I want I want in on that action. Is it three player? Yeah, it's, yeah, four, it's four player. player. Four player. What, what how much is it? I got on the 2K sale for ten dollars physical, but digital, if you try to get it digitally. I don't know, fam. You gotta look around. Okay, what Borderlands is this? Number one, the handsome, yeah, you know, the handsome Jack collection. collection. It's the Jack, uh, the handsome Jack yeah. collection. Oh, handsome like, Jack got collection. all of it. It's at what two, th three, and the it's, it's the it's two, it's two plus the pre sequel. Yeah, we gotta hit yeah. up uh, Chris Russell too because he might want to roll with us, fam. Two him. is the best. Yeah, one. I two love two. The best games of all time. Yeah. I never play any of the Borderlands. Oh, oh Nick, Nick buy it, bro. Get on that with us. Who? Oh my. Mm, I haven't played the pre sequel, but two. I got, I got to see how much it is. Two is oh, crazy. and shout out to Chris Cobra too tonight in the chat. Yeah. Play four player co op on Borderlands Two and it change your life. Uh, yeah, Nick, Nick, you missing out, bro. I gotta see how much money I got. See how my bank account works. I gotta, gotta see how I'm looking. But uh, back to the outro, Crunk Girl. What's happening? She gone. I ain't gonna. She gone. <laughs> Yeah, man. Shouts out to everybody in here. Had a good time. Uh, needed a little release to, to talk to talk about some games. Um, shouts out to the uh, chat and everything like that, and everybody for coming through. I really appreciate it. Even the people who disliked, we appreciate y'all too. Yeah, I thanks for that view. Yeah, I appreciate y'all too. You gave us that good view. <laughs> um, make sure y'all uh hit me up on Twitter at Crunk Girl Seven Eleven. Um, also make sure y'all hit me up on um. YouTube as well, uh, Crunk Girl Seven Eleven, and I want to give my my one of my best friends in the whole wide world uh, the video game. Her, aka Nia. Oh, uh, that's CFO, so sweet. Oh, CFO, whatever you want to call it. Of uh, she is at com. I've been friends with her for about four years now. Five years now. Oh, that is sweet. Um, happy birthday to her. She's three O. Happy birthday, Nia. The old grandma out here, dog. I mean, I'm just saying. You but, still look uh, young. That's a beautiful 3-0. I know. She is birthday, awesome. Sir. I love you. I Mwah. love that you guys love each other like that. It's so special. Man, oh. niggas want to see y'all kiss. <laughs> 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 no comment. <laughs> now, see what I'm see what I'm saying? <laughs> but if I make a comment, if I say something. Yo. See, here we go. <laughs> 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 Lord, if I did see that, I ain't gonna lie. If I did see that, it's gonna be like, here we Baby go. Baby mama, I love you. I didn't say <laughs> that. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, Yo, lastly, we got our guest for the day. <laughs> Gamer Lives Matter. What's going on, my brother? Thanks for coming through with us today. Hey, I definitely appreciate, man, being on this podcast. I really do appreciate the invite. I know I'm on the crumb side of everything, Twitter, YouTube, anything, except for gaming. I'm not on the crumb side of that. And I throw a lot on the crumb side when it comes to the cash. So if you know me, you know I'm not on that crumb side either. But I appreciate, man, the invite and uh, to mess with y'all, man. I really had a great time. 
And uh, for all the people in the chat and everybody that listen or anybody that can hear my voice in gaming, all gamers matter, okay? Mm. All of y'all lives matter, man. Mm. I care about every gamer, no matter what system you own. If you're on Xbox Scorpio, if you're on Xbox and you don't have no game, but they're coming, I, I mess with you. The Nintendo Switch is lit. The PlayStation 4 is definitely lit. The Xbox is lit when the Scorpio drops, and the PC as well is lit because I'm, I mess with the PC Master Race people too. So it don't matter what console you on. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't forget mobile cell phone. I, I mess with you if you're on mobile too. <laughs> so it don't matter what what system or what gaming you playing. Oh, Uncle Game, uh, Uncle Gamer Lives Matter. I fuck with you. We need an organ. <laughs> we need an organ plan after you talk. <laughs> so for, for everybody who watched it live on my channel, thank you guys for watching. If you're watching on our Tick Network channel, thank you guys for watching. And if you are listening on Podbean or iTunes, thank you for giving us your time today and rocking out with us. This has been episode 25 of the Double XP Podcast. And going forward, the new mantra will be, here we go. Peace out. <laughs>